I am Jim Collison, and this is Gallup's Called the Coach, recorded on October 12th, 2022. Called the Coach is a resource for those who want to help others discover and use their strengths. We have Gallup experts and independent strengths coaches share tactics, insights, and strategies to help coaches maximize the talent of individuals teams and organizations around the world. If you're listening live and we'd love to have you listen, uh, join us in our chat, if you don't see the chat, there's a link right above me there. That'll take you to the chat room. Ask your questions live while we're doing the program. And if you're listening after the fact, maybe as a podcast, you can send us your questions, coaching at gallop.com. Don't forget to subscribe to Called the Coach on your favorite podcast app or right there on YouTube so you never miss an episode. Liz Ebley is my guest today. Liz is a strategic licensee director for Gallup. And Liz, welcome back. And I can say that because you were on Call the Coach as a college student, maybe the first crossover. Welcome to Call the Coach. Yeah, I was. Hi, Jim. Thanks. It's great to be here with you. Uh, great to have you. Um, we'll introduce Richard here in just a second. Let's get to know you a little bit. Tell us a little bit about your role here at Gallup. Yeah, so my day-to-day -day is really exciting. I have the pleasure of representing um, our Gallup Strategic Licensees. That's a group of 11 businesses globally who represent 26 countries who sell the GGSC um, more locally. So those are your community leaders. You might know them in Brazil, South Africa, Taiwan, Korea. Um, we have them all over, and they're a great group to work with. So every day I wake up thinking about um, how more people can get access to their Clifton strengths, and I'm excited to be with you here today. A truly a global mission. One of my favorite things uh, of working with the global community is working with you in that and growing that. I think in the time I've been doing Call to Coach and we've been growing that in seven different languages, we've been adding those strategic partners to Call to Coach and getting that done. So thanks for your partnership in that and, and, and making that work. Let's talk a little bit about this, this program. We kind of hinted about it in the Certified Coaches newsletter, uh, uh, but talk a little bit about this program that we have coming up. Yeah, so we had a brief little teaser in that certification letter there, um, but we are uh, announcing a new program and it's called Catalyst. And the uh, purpose of that program is to reach more entrepreneurs so that Gallup can partner with you and reach more people in the areas of strengths, well-being and engagement. Um, so this is a new approach for Gallup. It's something we're giving um, a try and we're excited to see what's out there. Um, we are piloting it based off of Richard's experience with Cascade. So we have him here today to, to chat with us a bit about his experience and what he learned and what Gallup learned in general. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. And I think Jim's going to show you the site now. It's been exciting to, to put that together. Yeah, as I'm bringing that site up, let me ask you this question, because we've had Scott Wright on before, as we've talked about licensing. And I think yeah. some coaches have probably seen that or been uh, participated. How is this a little bit different than that? It's similar. It lives in the same world. So this is different in the way that Gallup is looking to maybe acquire a business, license your work that you're doing. Um, we're looking primarily for ideas that are fully developed. We are open to hearing ideas that you think could just shake up the way we do business. Um, but this is a formalized process for entrepreneurs to go through so that uh, there's a landing page. Um, we have you categorized. We, we know where you're at in the process. Um, and you're working with a relationship manager, someone like myself, who will take you through that process and just make sure you're taken care of. Um, on this page that Jim's scrolling through here, you're going to see our submission policies with some of our lingu legal language. Um, and then at the bottom is the, the form that you fill out that gets, a, gets you in contact with me, actually, um, or Scott Wright, like Jim mentioned, and uh, we'll get you through that process. There is a form that you'll fill out in there that uh, has some legal language that protects Gallup and yourself just to make sure that we're all covered. Um, and then we get to hear about your idea. We would ask that you don't tell anyone at Gallup about your idea until you've made it through this process, um, just to ensure that you're protecting yourself and Gallup um, isn't already working on some ideas that we may already have going. So we, we do create a lot of content and this is just a way that we make sure that we it all ends up in the right place and that you're talking to the right people at Gallup. It, Liz, it may be a little counterintuitive because I get these email pitches from time to time where folks reach out to me with an idea and they say, how does this sound? And they're, you know, they're wanting some feedback from me. And we, we're really trying to, to say now, instead of doing that, we've got the submission form for you. Do that first before you have, if you think it's a great idea and you've got a business built around it and you're doing some stuff with it, 
Um, not and and I think this is a, where folks got a little confused too. Not just an idea, right? But something that's kind of flushed out and, and that has been uh, that has been proven out, maybe in a marketplace already. Can you expand on that just a smidge? List. Right. So Cascade was already a fully formed business when Gallup um, showed interest in working with Richard. We're looking for more projects that are fully formed. We can take them in earlier stages, uh, but uh, we're looking mostly for ideas that we think we could put into the marketplace, kind of plug into the business that we're currently doing. So that could be work related to coaching. It could be content. It could be related to our engagement work. Um, but those are kind of the areas that we're focused on. And for this first round, um, we are focused primarily in the United States. We will expand that here within the next six months or so. Put the link to that form uh, in the chat room. We'll have it down in the description down below uh, if you want to click on it uh, down there. And then really, really important, because I, I deal with the community all the time, really, really important on that web page, you read the whole thing. So get all the way through it. There's a lot of great information in there. I know sometimes we tend to skim uh, and just hope to to get what we need out of it. But lots of great information. Read through that website as well if you've got, um, if you've got some ideas. Liz, let's, you, you mentioned Richard a, a little bit already, and he's kind of famous in our community. Richard, you, you're probably more famous than, than me at this point, but welcome to Call to Coach. And Liz, why have we brought Richard in? So I just thought that Richard would be um, our our best case that we have so far as someone who's kind of gone through a Catalyst-like program. Um, we actually developed Catalyst hoping to improve that experience for entrepreneurs and to make Gallup easier to work with. And so I thought um, having Richard on to talk about his experience would be helpful to anyone who may be considering going through this process themselves. So Richard, I was hoping you could tell us a little bit more about what Cascade is at a, at a high level, and then we can get more into your experience. Yeah, thank you, Liz. And thank you, Jim. And it's uh, great to be here to just talk about what's been happening. But let, just to tell you what about Cascade, uh, for those who've not yet heard of it, essentially, as a coach, if you want to create some workshop materials for a coaching session, then Cascade will just put all the Clifton Strengths information for individuals or teams in very easy, presentable formats with lots of visualizations. And it just saves so much time as a coach and just helps to open up those coaching conversations during that workshop. So it's a real ally to work uh, which coaches can use uh, when they're working with teams and individuals. Great. Thank you. And your role with Gallup and Cascade has shifted in the last few months. Could you tell us a little bit more about um, your role with the coaching community now and your role with Gallup? Yeah, so previously my role was sort of focused on Cascade and in the coaching community, whereas now I've got a part-time role with Gallup, so very much involved with the Gallup teams, and the aim is to really help enhance the resources for coaches. The other part of my sort of role independently is to stay connected with the coaching community and just really get involved on a global basis to hear what the coaches are up to, where the needs are, and then how we can help. And so my overall role is really the collaboration of bringing uh, the coaching community and Gallup resources together so that it enhances the strengths movement. Super. We've had kind of a fast and furious launch of mm -hmm. Cascade. What are you most looking forward to here? What, what are you looking forward to in our partnership and what's coming with Cascade? Yeah, so I'm a maximizer. So I'm looking for the next level, stepping things up and really sort of making the resources for coaches really practical, really helpful, and to really enhance uh, what coaches um, have and what they need and just make it easier for them so they can spend most of their time on the actual coaching process rather than all the admin behind the scenes. And do you have any advice for any um, prospective entrepreneurs who may be looking to work with Gallup in the future? I think really be really clear about your mission and state, uh, mission and purpose. What 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 is the approach you've got, and why is it you're coming into this um, these conversations and things? And with that, look for opportunities of collaboration and to see how what you can what you've got to offer and what Gallup can do. The collaboration there can be for the greater good. And I think if you come in with that attitude and that those aspects, that'll really sort of pay dividends later on. And really the fun, the, the first thing is just have a chat with you guys. Um, you're quite human behind the, behind the scenes and things and just have that conversation, fill out the form as you need to do for the requirements uh, on the outset. But once you've done that, yep, have those conversations and then just see where it can go. 
Richard, with Cascade, you know, it always feels like it's been here. Like it's just, it's always been here for the longest time. It, 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 you know, it was launched with Clifton Strengths, but we know it was a process to get there. At what point did you know, like, I've got something here. Like I've got something, this, I've got a product. I've got this thing, this thing can work. W when did you know that? That that's a really good question. That goes right back to when I did my coaching course back in 2015. And I just sort of put something together for my own coaching. And then I was in the London office at one of the alumni sessions and I was just showing them, uh, showing the other coaches, this is what I've done. And they just said, you've got to get it out there. And I thought, yeah, okay, let's just see what happens. Mm -hmm. And amazingly, people started buying it and it started gathering a bit of traction. And I just, that was the point when I realized, okay, something's happening here. And I think it was at one of the summits, 2017 summit, everybody was talking about Cascade, but it wasn't even there. Mm. Um, those conversations were happening and I realized, okay, I need to speak to the legal team. We've got something going here. I was using the Gallup IP. We needed to find a way of going forward. You had a group of individuals, uh, you had some very strong customer sentiment about feel very positive about the cascade. Was that intentional? Did you build that? Did it just happen? Was it a combination of both? Was, it, was there something going on there that allowed you to build just that positive momentum going forward? Um, I think really it stemmed from looking at my themes, my own themes. I have Relator right near the top, which I use an awful lot. Woo, for me, is right, right down the bottom. So I've never tried to use that. It's all about having those one-on-one -on -one conversations, yeah. uh, using my individualization to really understand where somebody's coming from, really understand them, and gaining that traction one person at a time. And that then uh, spreads out to their friends and their networks, and it just grew from there. Yeah, I, I see that all the time in our communities as we get folks very excited about Clifton Strengths and they just want to go everywhere with it. Liz, you've done a lot of work in the in the in the global community of pulling partners together to be able to do this. So what what kind of advice do you have is is you think about what's worked globally in that space and then applying it to this new catalyst program? What kind of advice do you have uh, for folks maybe thinking about this? I think that goes back to the mission of this program and our, our goal is to reach a billion people through Clifton Strengths Engagement Wellbeing. We want to touch lives and change lives and Gallup recognizes that we can do that better and faster if we're working together, crowdsourcing ideas and learning what our community is wanting and needing. And so I just think um, reaching out and going through this process and staying patient in the beginning, that's probably the best advice I could give you. And like uh, Richard said, once once you're through that initial process, we become really human and easy to work with, I find. And so we would love to hear your ideas. And we know there's a lot of great community or content that our community has created, and we're excited to hear it. Uh, let's, Richard, let me ask you this one question around patience, because these, any, anything like this kind of just takes a couple iterations. What kind of advice would you give to entrepreneurs trying to pitch a deal, so to speak, whether it's with us or, or with anyone else? What did you learn through this about patience, about tenacity, grit, maybe all those words put in there? I think you've described a lot of the words which I needed. It was de definitely patience, tenacity, and grit, uh, which was there. And I think having some supporting coaches there, so when things are not going so well, they're, they're there to help you and encourage you and support you. Mm -hmm. Keep going. It's worthwhile. And I must say with the legal team, yes, for the Gallup um, negotiations that we've had uh, with Cascade and things. It's just me here in the UK and it's a whole Gallup enterprise in the US. So it's, it felt a little bit like a David and Gala situation. But certainly Adam, who I was dealing with on the legal team, he was um, adopting a very pragmatic approach. And that was a very realistic approach. And we're just trying to find a sensible way forward. Yes, we've got to cover some bases. Yes, you need to cover the certain areas and things. That, that's required and necessary. But where there's detail that doesn't need to be there, we're able to be more objective on that side of things. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate Adam's um, um, perspective when looking at those things. Yeah, that is that is kind of nice in a setting where we have a bunch of different resources and you've plugged into a lot of them and worked with them. And I, listen, I've enjoyed the last couple of months of we, as we've deployed uh, a cascade and we'll continue to do that over the the remainder of the year and, and into next year. And so we're excited for that. Liz, for folks just joining us uh, or, or jumping in, let's recap the conversation a little bit. So I'm an entrepreneur. I've built a strengths-based product that I've been using. It's, of course, it's successful. Let's just assume it's been very, very successful. And I want to think, hey, 
I want to, I want to, I, I maybe want to partner with Gallup on this. What's the, what's the very next step they should do? The very next step is filling out the form at the bottom of our website there. So that generates um, basically a contact between the Gallup team and yourself. And then we'll get you introduced to the, the initial paperwork that we'll need you to fill out. And then you're in the process. Then we'll get you in front of some Gallup stakeholders. So I've got this awesome product. I've gone to the website. I filled out the, I, I read the entire, <laughs> the entire website first. <laughs> Adam's uh, work, then, yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great website. You're going to want to read it. You might even yep. want to engage your legal counsel with it. And then uh, you're going to fill out the form. Uh, Jamie asks a great question uh, from the chat room. And, and he says, how long uh, would I expect? Uh, we'll, we'll feed Jamie Hunt's significance a little bit. How long should the process take? What happens after filling out the form? Yeah, so we are still proving out this process here, but essentially what we'll do is we'll take your idea to a group of Gallup stakeholders, and if they have interest in the idea, then we will um, pursue whatever path that would be, whether it be licensing, acquisition, um, potentially even strategic investing. Um, that could take anywhere from four months to a year, depending on the type of product that it is. Uh, it kind of spans the course of time. If we aren't quite ready for your idea, if it's not a good fit, we do store everything that you send to us and track that so that in the case in the future that we're hearing a need or um, someone says, I remember we spoke about this at one point, we'll have your contact information. We can contact you at a later date and you still have myself or another relationship manager as a point of contact that you can reach out, um, reach out to Gallup to, and, um, just, just know where you're at in the process. Uh, Liz, I'm writing a book. I want to license some content. Uh, I I'm doing one of those kinds of things. Do I follow this process or do I just continue to contact us, uh, the, the way we've been doing it before? Go ahead and fill out this form. It, um, it covers the same bases that you would um, if you reached out to just an individual at Gallup, and we'll get you connected to our publishing team. That's great. I think that's super clear. That's actually not really, really nice for me. One form, as people ask me. Yeah. If you listen, if you send me, a, if you call me, I'm going to say, whoa, whoa, wait, don't tell me. Go fill out the form. That's going to be. We did the, this for what, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Don't tell me I'm going to fill out the form. Um, Richard, as we wrap this up, and uh, I'll wait for maybe one or two questions. Maybe they'll come in the chat room. Any other advice that you'd give? This is your fresh off going through this. Anything that we might have missed or anything else that you want to say uh, to give advice to someone maybe thinking about doing this? I think if you've got an idea, you've got a product, or you've got something that you're using currently as your coaching um, practice at the moment, where you feel other coaches could benefit from it, just go for it. There's no harm in starting this process. So you can always stop it at any time if, you, if you're if you not going to take it any further, but just give it a go and see see what happens. And Liz, we are kind of looking for live product that has been developed and being worked as opposed to just generating, hey, you guys should write a book on, you know, I get those ideas all the time, uh, more kind of product development than less. Is that correct? Right. Um, it's a bit different if you're already writing the book that that might move you a bit further down that path. If you've created a platform and it's in beta that we'd still be interested in hearing that. Um, so we're less focused on ideas that are still on a piece of paper and more focused on ideas that have a little bit of action behind them. Awesome. Awesome. We're looking for some stuff that's that's kind of in process on that. Liz, yeah. any any other final thoughts? I think we're good with questions. We'll, we'll kind of bring this in for landing, but uh, wrap it up for us. Yeah, I, I would just like to thank Richard for being here today. All the work he's done with Cascade and pioneering new ways to work with Gallup. I really appreciate appreciative of all the legwork that you've done to to get to this point. And we're excited to meet all the future entrepreneurs that we'll work with and excited to reach more people through this program. Thanks, Jim. Richard, I'll, I'll tag on to that since we're we're we're, uh, we're we're ganging up on you. I appreciate your partnership in, in this. You've been a perfect partner. Um, for us to this transition, it's, you know, like any, any work that you do, it's never always easy or simple and, uh, and, and sometimes um, can be just flat out difficult. And you have been a champ and a great partner in that. So Richard, thank you for your partnership in it. We have a long way to go. You're not going anywhere. So we, we've got some work to do to get this thing, but Richard, I, I appreciate you and I appreciate your partnership and you've just been a, a great example of a partner to us. So thank you for all that you've done. Thank you, Jim. And I'll just go back to what I was saying earlier about enter with a collaborative mindset. Mm -hmm. And if you start with that, then together you can go far. Ah, 
That's a great quote. Mark, make sure you grab that quote, quote, put it in the show notes when we get done. Well, with that, we'll remind everyone take full advantage of all the resources we do have available now in Gallup Access. Head out to gallup.com slash Clifton Strengths for coaching, master coaching, or if you want to become a Gallup Certified Strengths Coach, maybe you've heard about this before and you're like, I really need to do this this certification program. Send us an email, coaching at gallup.com. Don't forget, we just released the information for the 2023 Gallup at Work Summit. Maybe you want to join us. Richard mentioned that a little bit earlier. And uh, maybe you want to join us in 2023. Head out to gallupatwork.com. Prices and hotel links and those things have been released. Speakers will be coming as we go. But as of this recording, that information is out for you. Gallupatwork.com. Join us in our Facebook groups, facebook.com slash group slash call to coach. Appreciate you guys coming out and being a part of this. We're excited for this program. We'll hear more about it. I'm sure, Liz, hopefully this will generate a bunch of, uh, of, of connections for us. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for listening live. With that, we'll say goodbye, everybody.